much chocolate's on my face? A lot? I can't tell. Mm. Excuse me. Come on. Open, please. Hi, this is Katie. In today's video, I'm going to be trying out new ice cream. I'm so excited. So all of my Sunday videos for September are food related videos. And I wanted this one to be trying new ice cream because recently I went to Sprouts and got three new types of ice cream that I've never tried before. And I figured that I would just try them on camera and show you guys and give you my honest opinion of these gluten-free, dairy-free, nut-free ice cream little treats because I have a lot of food allergies. And so there's only like specific types of ice cream and like ice cream sandwiches and stuff that I can even have. And so the other day I was at Sprouts and I'm like, there's a couple that I wanna try. And so I bought three new ones. I'm obviously, maybe not obviously, but I'm not going to be trying all three of them right now, today. I feel like that'd be a little bit too much ice cream for me right now. And so I'm gonna try this one today and then I'm gonna try the other two, you know, over the next week or so and then just combine it all into this vlog. And so, it's, what time is it? Like seven? Yeah, it's almost seven o'clock. I just had dinner. I had eggs, zucchini, and a pear for dinner. And afterwards I was like really in the mood for ice cream. And so I decided to try this one. This is the Good Pop Chocolate Vanilla Sandwiches. I'm pretty sure all three of the new ice creams I got are by this brand. That was kind of an accident. But yeah, this is just an ice cream sandwich basically, but that's gluten-free and dairy-free. I really like the Alden's Organic Gluten-Free and Dairy-Free Ice Cream Sandwich, but I just wanted to try this different brand as well. So let's open this. I'm very excited. Um, it is made from oat milk. I know the Alden's one is made from coconut milk. I don't even really know if I've ever had oat milk ice cream before. So I guess we'll see how that goes. Anything else I need to tell you? The only allergen listed in here is soy, but I can eat soy, that's fine. So anyway, let's try this Good Pop Chocolate Vanilla Sandwich. I have a napkin right here. Eating on your bed is always uh, risky, but I'm trying it out. Oh, it's so cute. It's so cute and tiny. This is like one bite. I mean, not really. This is like four bites. I guess you could do it one bite, but I'm not trying to do that right now. Anyway, look how cute. It's so cute and tiny. All right, anyway, so this is the Good Pop chocolate vanilla sandwich. All right, cheers. Yeah, it tastes good. It tastes good. I think I like the Alden's organic one better, but this one is still really good. It's only 110 calories per sandwich. What? How much sugar? Eight grams of sugar, okay. These are 15 carbs, eight grams of sugar, four and a half grams of fat, and only 110 calories. I mean, they're small, but still, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, this tastes really good. I have like no notes, basically. This tastes really good. I feel like my reaction is so like bland, but in reality, it's just really good. I'm focused on eating it and I just have nothing really bad to say about it. I just think I like the Alden's one a little bit better, but I can't really explain why, but this one's really good. Yeah, no notes. How much chocolate's on my face? A lot, I can't tell. Yeah, again, I don't think I've ever had oat milk before and I don't think I've ever had oat milk ice cream either, but since this was mixed with a cookie, I couldn't really tell that it was oat milk ice cream. It just kind of tastes like ice cream. But yeah, it was good. That's it. That's all I have to say. All right, that was very good. Five out of five, four and a half out of five. So I feel like there's chocolate somewhere. I don't know. I'll find it in editing and be like, oh, Katie, come on. And I usually wouldn't buy three things of ice cream at the same time, but I only go to Sprouts like once a month. And obviously ice cream lasts for a really long time. This literally does not expire for uh, over a year. And so I basically just have ice cream for the next like few months. Anyway, let me know if you've had these or had this flavor and uh, I will let you know when I'm trying one of the next ice creams and we'll see how that one goes as well. All right, I'm gonna go, I don't know, I think probably back to work. <laughs> I have some more work to do today. So, all right, I'll talk to you guys, you know, at some point, either this weekend or next week. Bye guys. Hey guys, it's a couple days later and it is time for another ice cream. This is the Good Pop Orange and Cream. It's basically a creamsicle that is dairy-free, gluten-free, nut-free, all that stuff. This one is made from coconut cream, orange juice, sugar, and just a couple other things. It's only 90 calories for one of these. 
I'm very excited. I love creamsicles. I've not had one in a very long time. This is literally going to be the first dairy-free creamsicle I've ever had. So that's exciting. All right, so. The front says good pop and it has flip-flops and a sun on it. My roommate's cooking, if you can hear noises. Yeah, but it has like a little sun umbrella, flip-flops, popsicle. And then it says hashtag so good on the back. Very cute. All right, so. Yeah, it smells like a creamsicle. <laughs> Cheers. Mm. So far, it mostly just tastes like frozen orange juice. I don't really taste the cream, but as you can see right there, there's like a little piece of like, what I can only assume is the cream kind of popping out. So maybe I just didn't get to the cream part yet. Like maybe it's sectioned for some reason. I don't know, but so far, even though it just tastes like frozen orange juice, it still doesn't taste fantastic. Let me see, let's keep going. Let's keep going. Even the texture tastes like a frozen fruit ice pop. You know what I mean? I feel like creamsicles are supposed to be a little creamier, even though it's coconut cream. I still think it's supposed to be a little bit creamier, but this is more like icy, like a frozen fruit pop. You know what I mean? But I see more white. We just gotta try to get down there. So I'm just gonna have that bite. And then we're gonna try to get down here where maybe there's more of the coconut cream. But, on the picture, not that pictures always are the same, but on the picture, it looks like the cream is supposed to be right up at the top. But on mine, that was definitely not the case. I think the whole top was just orange, but we definitely now got to the cream. Can you see that? So let's see if this bite tastes any differently. I just don't really like it. The coconut cream, <laughs> Don't make fun of me. The coconut cream tastes a little bit too coconutty. Hear me out. Like the coconut milk that I use for like cereal and stuff does not taste like coconut at all. And so obviously you're thinking coconut cream is gonna taste like coconut, but I just think that there is a way to make it not taste very coconutty because coconut and uh, orange is not like a great flavor combo in my opinion. So I was just hoping that, yes, obviously it's coconut cream, but I was just hoping that the coconut would be a uh, more like diluted flavor, I guess, and just taste a little more creamy and mixed with the orange. I thought it was gonna be good, but I don't really like this one. I don't like the texture because I feel like every time I've had creamsicles in the past, even the orange part is still a little creamy because I like mix it together. But this, the orange part, tastes like a fruit pop popsicle, which is just a different thing, right? Like those are still good, but that's not what I'm hoping for this. And then yeah, the cream, it just, I don't know, the flavors don't really go. It's not as creamy as I would like it. The ice cream sandwich that I ate the other day was really good. It was a little bit mild in flavor, but besides that, it was like really, really good. But this, yeah, it's just like the flavors don't go great together. It's not disgusting, but the flavors just don't go like super great together. 90 calories for one, five grams of fat, 11 carbs, 10 sugars. Anyway, that was a bummer, um, but we have one more to try. I think by the same brand, we have one more to try. So we had like one hit, like yesterday was such a hit. And then this for me was just a miss. So we're kind of like one and one right now. So the last one will like break the tie and we will see. But yeah, so that'll be in a few days. So I will see you then. Hey guys, it is a few days later and it is time to try the last ice cream. The last ice cream. It is the Good Pop Mint and Fudge Chip. So it's essentially mint chocolate chip ice cream, but on a popsicle. Uh, there's no chocolate or anything like coating it. It's just literally ice cream on a popsicle. So this is dairy-free made with oat milk. One pop is 80 calories. Seriously, this brand makes pretty low calorie ice cream. So one pop is 80 calories, seven grams of sugar. I think that's pretty good. Four and a half grams of fat, nine carbs. I think that's pretty good for this. So anyway, let's try it. I know the first ice cream I liked, the second ice cream I didn't really like. So let's see, this is like the tiebreaker kind of. Excuse me, come on, open please. Okay, which one? This one. Oh, that's a lot tinier than I thought it was gonna be. That's fine. I don't need a lot of ice cream. It just is smaller than I thought it was gonna be. But anyway, here's up close. It's beautiful. That smells really good. That smells so good. 
Mint chocolate chip is probably my favorite ice cream flavor. So I'm really hoping that this tastes good. All right, cheers. Yeah, that's really good. I got confused for a second if you could tell by my face, but that tastes really good. Mm. I might end up having two of these tonight. I wish you could smell it. I mean, and taste it. Just go get this. This is delicious. The reason that I made that little like confused face before is because right after you take a bite and right before you're done, so like that middle section, there is like a little bit of an interesting flavor, but it's not bad. It was just a little like, oh, this tastes a tiny bit different than I was expecting, but it's still really good. The flavor is pretty mild, which I think again, is just kind of on par for this brand. You know, like the first ice cream sandwich that I had earlier in this video, that was really good, but it was a little more mild than another ice cream sandwich that I've had before, you know? And even the uh, creamsicle, I didn't love that one, but the flavor still was like a little mild and this a little mild, but it still tastes really good. Like it's not too mild. It just is like a little mild. Like it's not super overpowering. I do wish, there was a little bit more chocolate in here and I'm honestly not even the biggest like chocolate fan when it comes to like chocolate chips in an ice cream usually I like when there's not a lot but this one I just think that there's like too few you know what I mean I think that there definitely could be a little bit more chocolate but regardless this tastes good this definitely tastes good it's very creamy the texture is spot on but if I'm gonna rate them, the ice cream sandwich was first, this is second, and the creamsicle is third. Anyway, I think that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed hanging out with me while I was trying some gluten-free and dairy-free and nut-free ice creams. I wanna try other things made from this brand because it seems like a lot of their stuff, maybe everything, but at least a lot is gluten-free and dairy-free, so they might have other things that I can try. So I definitely would still try other things from this brand. But yeah, thank you for hanging out with me. Please let me know in the comments what your favorite dairy-free ice cream is, please. I would love to know. And even even if you can eat dairy, let me know what your favorite ice cream flavor is. Cause I do think that mine is mint. I love mint ice cream. Um, but yeah, I guess that's going to be it. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope that you're subscribed for some food related videos and other like travel vlogs and hanging out with me vlogs and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, I guess it's going to be it. Thanks again for watching and I hope that you have a wonderful day. I love you. Jesus loves you. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.